so I've determined this lines up. I just kind of laid the deck lid on top of it to check it. Um, but, you know, I mean, unless the deck lid's already straight, you know, you don't know 100%. But, you know, if you know it's where it was, more than likely it's going to be all right. Um, but when you're looking at stuff like if you're doing an overlay like this, and you look at this hole, how it lines up, and then... You know you could be still tilted off this way so it's best to just kind of eye it that it's going straight it's not dipping in or something like that but remember this was all beat up here and smashed and this thing here's a piece of junk and it's you know hard to and I have to straighten it after it's welded in so you're not gonna know a hundred percent on something like this whether you got it perfect because you can't really straighten a lot of this stuff until it's on here where you got some leverage to pull on it and stuff like that because i've still got it this is all messed up i mean this is this is one back in the old days we would just throw take off and get rid of and put a new one on well actually i used to always fix them i fixed all the old original aprons very rarely did i replace one unless somebody brought one to me years ago and said hey can you put this on and i was like oh man you know they cut it off and they go, oh, it's better to put a new one on. But it usually was better just to fix what was there. Because um, they'd take one that was half this bad and put a new one on for that reason. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start. What I'm going to do on this particular thing, um, because see how this is all bent and everything else, I've got to spot weld it and then spot weld it a few times and then bend it and you know and clamp it and then spot weld it and clamp it and spot weld it and clamp it because i need this to be a little bit lower so that this line continues this is actually the original line i've determined and that lines up with the line here so and then i'll start uh welding it in so it's a little bit tricky to do um you can't just do it 100 percent line it up perfect and just set it in place um on all these you, you, you have to take each one individually and and work it and until it's right all right so you work along just hammering and welding and hammering and welding you're getting it lined up as you go sometimes you have to do your metal work that way so right so you just kind of get it to lay down if you notice right here on this bottom edge i couldn't get that to bend until i actually got that spot weld on the bottom corner so that's what I'm talking about sometimes, you know, not all the time, but when you have something that's really bent like this and you're trying to put it on, you've got to get the, you got to work it however it needs to be worked, you know, so it doesn't always go on the way you want it to. And uh, I'll have to, once I get that back, I'll straighten that back out from the inside and then it should be good to go when I get, you know, when I get all of the welds on here. Right, so you see I might have a little mountains going on because, again, you guys are new to the channel. Um, a lot of times I don't clean the metal um, because I am in a noise-conscious area. So too much grinding is going to get me in trouble. Just the hammering alone is enough. And uh, so I don't want to have hammering and grinding going on all the time. So sometimes I'll clean it, sometimes I won't. But you see that lines up pretty well. Um, there's a little bit of a gap going on right here. And it's because this piece of metal actually dips down just a hair. So I'll probably get my paintless dent removal tool and shove it in the corner there after I get it welded in. And push that back out so it lines up. Which is not a real big deal. I mean, all this stuff, you just have to, when you're got, you know, when you have something like this, you know, this is, this is, fixed already can you imagine how bad this was this thing the whole thing was twisted i think i put another video up on that for the subscribers that know um if you're new to the channel you can find that by just searching um but yeah that's kind of how it's going let's see the other side all right so i'm making headway over here i've had to readjust this side a little bit to get these this line to continue along here because that's telling me that it's lining up um Again, this part, you know, I set the deck lid on there just to see, um, unless you, you know, some guys want to bolt it on and you really, 
in order to really know that the deck lid's going to fit right, you got to put the rubber in, you got to bolt it on, you got to check the latch. You know, if you're going full show or something like that, then that's the way to do all that. You know, if you're going to, you know, that, that takes a lot of time to do all that stuff. So, but I'm, I'm not doing that. It's going to a nice looking daily driver style, uh, you know, work. So, but again, I'm just going to go over this welding technique. Um, when you don't have clean metal, um, people think it doesn't stick and it won't, and you know, it doesn't uh, penetrate and all that. What you have to do is you just, uh, once you do it once, you just spark it once, wait about two or three seconds spark it again and, and then you'll hear the welder get nice and smooth it won't be bouncy and then you know you got a good weld so um, that technique is what I use on these because I don't want to clean all the metal you know and out in the open like this all the time sometimes I do sometimes I don't it just depends on you know on a Sunday early in the morning you know not early but you know, before noon, um, a lot of people don't like to get up that early on Sunday. So you just have to think about what you're doing all the time and how it might affect other people around you. So that way you don't have problems because if you have a problem, you know, it's not worth it. It's just not worth having problems. Anyway. All right, so it looks pretty good. Got a pretty good line up here. Uh, we got this lined up, this thing lined up pretty good. So it tells you it's pretty much right on. Our hole, if you look at it straight on, lined up with the other holes, so that tells you it's pretty much lined up. You can always take your hammer and knock it down the bush. Right there, it's not gonna hurt anything that being a little bit off. Fender's still gonna pull on good. These fenders have a little bit of wiggle room because they're so soft. And that lines up good. Now once I grind everything down, it should be looking pretty good. All right, so that's how it looks after it's been ground down. Well, I'll get a little bit more grinding done here and then I'll just, uh, just put a real thin coat of filler on there. I'm not trying to make it look 100% perfect underneath here. But at least I don't want it to stand out that there was this, oh my God, it's been repaired. It's, it's, it's not a unmolested car. Give me a break. Guy's thinking, oh, it's unmolested. Jeez, find an unmolested girl. She's like 12, come on. You know, that's just not cool to me. I think molested is normal. When a car's been molested, it's been around the block and it's still running. That's the coolest thing ever, you know? It's like, a, I'd prefer a 35, 50 year old woman than a 14. Come on, you guys, get over it. Let's get some uh, panel work done. And uh, let's make your cars look good. Just, uh, you know, if it comes out like this, you'll be smoking looking nice when it's done. This you won't even notice when I get this all together and just do the fine work. You know, all the little stuff takes a lot of time. So don't figure it's just going to, you're done. You know, I'm already done. I did this in three hours. I've got another couple hours worth of work to do on this. So. You know, don't figure that you're done when you're at this point. You're not done. You're not done till it looks gone. You don't see it anymore. Of course, I don't have this piece yet, so I'll put that on and uh, make that look good. Now, they have a couple different grades of that. They have the ones from, uh, the one from, uh, oh, God, what are they called? Uh, Autocraft in Europe. And then they have the ones from some other brand that uh, some of the other guys sell and the ones I looked at that were the other brand were super thin they were like 22 gauge steel 
and for a bumper I don't know if that's going to be strong enough so I'm going to go take a look at the Autocraft ones they're like I don't know 50 bucks each but it's either that or I'm going to take the later model and that has the wing on it that comes up and I'm going to cut the wing off and make it look just like the other side I'm just going to get them over at Wolfsburg and take a look at both of them and then figure out where to cut and then probably if I get the cheaper one I'll just cut the the wing off of it you know the later model had like a little wing that goes up like this the early ones went straight back and uh, I don't want it mismatched because I want the car to look original so that's the whole fooling part about doing patina we want it to look like it's original that way anyway so I'll talk to you guys in the next video please, please like share and subscribe um, you, you know before you write hater comments uh, you know all the guys will write them before they ever get to the end of the video but you know it's it's just ridiculous some of the stuff that guys say you know yeah i'm yeah, is the deck league gonna line up um you know i mean i'm not saying that was a hater comment that was appreciate i really appreciated that comment somebody said on my other one yes the deck lid is definitely gonna line up when i'm done but if you look here how this thing is mounted out um you know, if I tried to put the deck lid on right now before I've done my final metal work, um, it's not really going to help me, you know, putting it on unless I have all this straight. And there he goes, well, why don't you have all this straight? Because I've got to have this thing mounted so that I can really do what I need to do to this. Because it, what was happening is if I'm, if it's off the car, you're sitting there hitting it and it's bouncing back. When you have it mounted, you know, sometimes it will stay in place. Now, I also still need to weld these in, but you look at how beat up they are. So I got to clamp those down and weld them in, which I'm going to do. And then, you know, that adds to the strength too. But I got to check here. Looks pretty bent. You know, this thing is, this one here is, is about molested as one can get <laughs> thank you i'll take the molested one all right so um then i'll fix it up and make it work so anyway uh i'll talk to you guys in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching